welcome back to another episode of the White Sox March to October. We are coming off of an all-time win in Game 1 of the ALDS against the Twins. We made the comeback against Yuan Duran, put up three runs on a walk-off homer from Mitch Garver, and that put us ahead 1-0 in our first postseason series of this March to October. So the plan for today is to play the next two games of this series, regardless of the outcome, but we are two wins away from advancing, so I say we just win both of them. May as well just advance to the ALCS by the end of this episode. It looks like, as of now, our opponents, if we do that, would be the Yankees, with the 2-0 lead over Houston. But both the division series on the other side of the bracket are tied at 1. And the Cubs, they're still going. I didn't even really take a second to look at that. That'd be obviously a fun matchup. But we gotta do our job. We're still a long ways away, too. So we gotta focus on each individual game. And today's game, we load in with the lead which we did load into the last game with the lead and it did not last long but this time we got a whole less inning to play starting in the top of the seventh we had three innings to shut them down pick up the second win of the series and then we can head to their ballpark up to nothing and Jake Eater is having a game here so we got the day game this time I'm assuming it was just the very next day so we had the night game had to turn around and play a day game all right so here we go top seven Trevor Larnick I'm assuming the nine hole hitter leading off or no, he's batting two. Jake Eater has a ton of energy left. And let me pause before our pitch clock runs out because I want to... Well, actually, I want to go and take a look at this first. Not this. This. Our one run once again came from a Vlad Guerrero solo shot. So both games so far, he's hit a solo shot before I've loaded in, and that's been our entire offense. And then, yeah, Jake Eater's gone six. He's only given up three hits, and he's punched out nine, and he still has so much energy left. So, yeah, we're definitely going to stick with him, and who knows how long we stick with him, but as long as he's rolling, I don't really see a reason to take him out. Oh my god, and look at what he's doing on the curveball. I couldn't have walked up there and placed in more perfectly than that was placed on the corner. Oh, and then a one-pitch pop fly. I'm kind of lucky he didn't drive that. That was kind of right down the middle. Yeah, that was, that was even worse than I thought. That was legitimately right down the middle. Oh, and we got him looking. Buxton was being patient, worked it to 3-2. We just challenged him up and then he couldn't do anything. All right, let's get another run or two for Eater out there to feel a little bit more comfortable. They're tossing Bailey Ober today. I thought he was down like in the, the four spot in the rotation. I wouldn't have thought today would be his start. And he can't find the zone. A four pitch walk to get things started. Speed on first with nobody out. No, they said I went around on that. Oh, that's brutal. That is a brutal call right there. And I <laughs> will make... Okay, no, I would have been early. Never mind. I was going to say it was going to make it worse that I would have been on that pitch. Are we going to be in... No, they really... I ran there on a 2-2 count. He threw a couple fastballs in a row. So I was like, okay, he's going off speed here. I'm going to take off. He started pitching, first of all, before Robert even got the lead. I took one lead off. One. And we didn't even have enough time to take the lead. And then on top of that, he actually got thrown out. And then I'm... Guess that's how you throw away an inning. Wow. I don't normally like stealing bases, especially on Legend difficulty against the CPU, but I thought I actually picked a good spot there. I thought I picked a spot where they're going to be throwing something off speed. Robert actually looked like he had a good jump. I don't know, like the one stolen base attempt I've made this year, the catcher with, I checked, like 52 arm accuracy made a perfect throw right on the dot. Of course he did. That's why I hate stealing bases against the CPU. Look at me, I'm still ranting about it and we're about to strike out our first hitter of the next inning or not because i couldn't focus and i hung the change up or the curveball look at me i'm so frustrated i don't know what pitch i threw is that gonna be two tough play but oh yeah duran with that 99 arm strength not a whole lot of times 99 arm helps out a ton from a second baseman but right there it did Vlad, come on, make this play. I got the throw. That was a tough play all around, and we got it. Some good defense this inning. All right, if I don't score this inning, we're going to crochet. If I do score, we'll try and complete the game with Eater. That's the plan. Dude, I really thought I was on that pitch. Like, I, I tracked it in. I thought I did something good there. 
There we go. There's a good swing. Duran down the line. That'll be two. Let's do what we can to drive him in now. We, we need some offense. I need to wake up here. Get ready for game two. This is warm up for the next game that we play also. Oh, I actually, I mean, I did. Why, wait, why did he take off for third? What? I, I okay. I really don't know why he took off for third base there. Oh, actually, hang on. That came off the bat with something. Ben Benintendi did. He went deep. Wow, okay. So I guess it doesn't matter that Duran went to third. We still had the same amount of runners on base, and Ben Benintendi drove them all in. Man, he was under that, too. I was under that pitch. I didn't think he had the kind of power to hit something out when I was that far under it. Oh my god, I got a round on that? When I press the button to swing, I am telling you guys, I thought I was late. I thought the best I was going to be able to do on that was foul it off. I just, okay, I mean, that that is a couple of very unexpected home runs back to back with the types of swings that I made. But I will not sit here and complain. Legend difficulties being nice to me today, I'll take advantage of it. Oh my god, we might have gone three in a row. Did Vlad get enough of that to center? He did! Just out of reach, that is a good swing. That might be the first one that's truly deserved. The perfect, perfect Vlad with his third home run in two postseason games so far. Man, when we had that base running mistake get us our second out in this inning, I was like, oh, we're going to be going into the ninth with a one-run lead. We're going to need Crochet to absolutely lock it down. And then just three home runs in a row later, we're all of a sudden up 5 nothing. And there's the second walk of the game for Robert. Oh, and he got hit. All right. On a, what was it? A one-two count? Legend difficulty is really being nice today. No way. And then that's the pitch that I strike out on to end it. The floating slider right down the middle. It doesn't matter. I don't need to be angry about it. We have a 5 nothing lead heading into the ninth. So yeah, we've definitely given Jake Eater the chance to finish this game himself. And that's exactly what we like to see. One pitch, one out. And another one to Duran for out number two. And Vlad's going to snag it. I, another bad pitch. Left that one hanging again. But that is a dominant game two win. Two nothing in the series. We're one win away from moving on. Now we just got to go on the road and take one at their field. All right. So what's this going to look like? First game of the postseason on the road in Minnesota. And we again have a one nothing lead. Is this all three games now that we've started with a one nothing lead? And look at that over the NL. The Cubs advanced. They took down the Braves. So we're one step closer from getting a crosstown world series all right so let's do it let's take them out here one nothing lead bottom of the six they have one hit on the board and i'm assuming that's well it could be a walk that got the the runner out there either way runner on first for them with one out in the inning let's make this the only postseason game that these fans get to see this year let's wrap it up right now we got soroka in the game still a lot of energy left let's let's just take a look here okay it wasn't another vlad solo shot but de young has a double and that's been our offense soroka has the one hit allowed the two walks nine punch outs winds blowing straight out to center field though that's a lot of wind too so we got to be kind of careful and it looks like actually did he take a lead off of first let's let's just see okay no he's in Okay, I'm having trouble here. Soroka, I can't hit the zone with him. Just trying to get a sinker. Okay, we got an out. I was going to say, I'm just trying to get a sinker low in the zone for them to roll over and ground into two, and then they find a way to somewhat get under it. Oh, let that bounce. Oh, wait, no. We already had an out to start. My bad. Good play then, Vlad. And now he's stepping up to the plate right away. Let's expand on this lead immediately. Take the hot bats. Carry him over from last game into this one. Hmm. I will say the, the batter's eye is a little weird, which you wouldn't think that would ever be an issue when you're playing a night game, but I guess it's just the way the light reflects off of those leaves. It's not as bad as sometimes during the day. Like, it's not like I can't see the ball. It's just, it's just not ideal. And I still hit it hard. Come on, Vlad. We got to run 40 speed. Oh, he's in there without a throw. Oh, I... I just didn't move the PCI up. And I just noticed after that, hang on. Did that say that 
Chris Paddock has 12 strikeouts. See, that's also last game. I didn't check on that either. And as we were loading out, it said that Bailey Ober struck out 13. And wait, now it says the wind's blowing in? What is it? There we go. Okay. Huh. I thought that was going to the gap at first. Wait. Okay, we are safe. Dude, that was a roller coaster of a play. I thought that was going to the gap, and then I thought it might have been caught by the second baseman, and then all of a sudden, Vlad was almost out at second. I guess it all ended up good, though. We have two on for Mitch Garver. Oh, get over his head. No, uh, that, was a, that was a really nice swing. 100 off the bat. Okay, Vaughn's due. Vaughn does not have a hit. He has not been on base once in this series. Okay, they let me hold up. Fastball missed, and we're going to load the bases. Come on, Duran. Just a base hit here. Just want to make sure we get something out of this. No, I rolled over. That is... <laughs> That is a really good spot for a circle change. He could not have placed that more perfect. I didn't need to swing at it. We could have just gone down to two strikes. That's just tough. Really feel like I should have come away with something that inning, especially with the Mitch Garver swing that was right to left field. Duran, man, I did not think off the bat I'd have to dive for that, but just another casual diving play. Still way too many of those. Like, I know I made it there and it benefited me, we don't need as many diving plays as we see on this game, or at least there needs to be some skill to it. Okay, nice snag there, too. That's, that's another thing we see too much of, though, is the pitcher who doesn't have a good fielding rating just snagging the, the shots right back up the middle. And there we go. End it with a punch out. That might be where I end Soroka's day. And if it is, he had a great one. I don't think I got enough of that. Brock Stewart, man. He he's tough. He throws hard. He's got five pitches. Everything moves. Oh, look at that. Now they're just scared of Benintendi. After what he did last game, they don't want any piece of him. Brock Stewart's a lot easier to hit when you don't have to worry about swinging the bat. Oh my god, and look at Eloy. Whatever direction the wind's blowing is what's going to determine that, and I guess it must actually be blowing in because that didn't even make it to the track. I don't get it. How can it tell me the first time I pause that the wind's blowing out 11, and then I check back again and it's actually blowing in 11? Like, that, that's a big swing of wind. When you think about it, that's 22 miles per hour difference. That's a perfect swing from a guy with pretty solid power. I mean, it makes sense. If the wind's blowing in, it makes sense why that doesn't leave. It's just frustrating that it told me one thing and it's actually another. That one, though, won't be influenced by the wind. Vlad's done it again. That's four home runs in three games for Vladimir Guerrero Jr. I am feeling better and better about that trade with every single episode. Like, I'm serious. Even at the beginning of this episode, the, the thought creeped back into my mind. I was just like, man, we did. We got rid of Noah Schultz. We got rid of Jacob Gonzalez. Am I going to regret that? And then Vlad's just hit two more home runs for me. Oh, and I'm a little late on that, but that's fine. We did all the damage we needed to do here in the eighth. We're up 3 nothing now. Two more innings to shut him down and advance to the next round. That is still going to be where I call it for Soroka, though. He was down into the yellow energy. We have three lefties in a row due up. No reason not to go to Tanner Banks right here, especially with how good he's been for me. And then I immediately throw a yellow. Let's see where this goes. Oh, it's just a perfect pitch. Cool. Banks is just too good. There we go, dude. That He looks so dumb on that. I really hope that somehow next season Tanner Banks becomes a guy whose potential goes up. Because right now, he's a D potential and he's already at a 69 overall, which is technically as high as you should be able to go with a D potential. And like, if the rosters were completely up to me with how he's pitched, I would leave him on the team. It's just I know with how March to October works, if we get enough people that are high enough overall and Banks would be the one left out, they would just get rid of him. They'd send him down. I actually don't know if I like where I place this. So we'll just, we'll just miss, we'll get a yellow release and it'll end up in a different spot that's even better and get the swing and miss. Yeah, just insane. Just, just ridiculous. I want to say that that might be nine outs worth of batters that Tanner Banks has faced in this series and I think he struck out eight of them. 
Oh my god, Fletcher, another perfect for him, and it does have enough by plenty. I've hit two perfects with Fletcher in this game, and that's yet another home run in this episode. I mean, if we think about this series, I think we had two home runs hit by Vlad, and that was it in terms of home runs hit by the CPU. And then I myself have hit two more with Vlad. I've hit one with Eloy, one with Garver, Fletcher, Robert. How many home runs is that? How many home runs have we hit in this series? Oh, and Ben Benintendi. I can't believe I left that one out. Uh, and then we get a base hit with Garver on a 12 pitch at bat. Come on, man. Vaughn still needs a hit in this series. Somehow he's the only one who hasn't gotten a hit. And then I'm going to ground into a double play on the first pitch. When some people are cold, they're just cold. What's that going to do? Is that going to fall? It's not. But we add on one more in the inning, make it a 4 nothing lead. All we need is three more outs and we move on. And even though we can't seem to get him a save situation so far in this postseason run, we still got to get Garrett Crochet some work. Oh, what do we got? Fletcher, good break on the ball. And he's, he really didn't get there. I, I was about to gas him up. I thought he was going to make a good play on that. That wasn't even close, really. There we go. Nice slider for the first punch out. We don't need that fluke double to get in our heads. Roll over. That's not really going to do any damage here. That's two outs. Okay. Okay. Hang on. Hang on a second here, Crochet. Let's not have this happen. Just need one more out. Just do your thing. Throw strikes. They can't hit them. There we go. And there we go, there's strike three. Another shutout. We were legitimately one bad pitch away in game one with Dylan Cease from sweeping the series on three shutouts. But that doesn't matter. All that matters is the fact that we won three games in the series and we move on. That had to have been the most locked in at the plate that I've been, maybe ever. Like that, that was me hitting at about my peak right there. I, I kept making good swings. So many home runs were hit today. If we continue to play like this, there is nobody that's going to stop us on our way to the World Series. And what a way to end the season rivalry with the Twins. I mean, all year we were chasing them. They were at the top of the division. It took all the way until September to finally chase them down take the division for ourselves and then right there in the three games that mattered we proved that we're the best so now all that's left to see is who is going to be our alcs matchup is it going to be the yankees or is it going to be the astros last we saw yankees were up 2-1 in the series so what logo are we about to see pop up it is the Yankees. So, yep, they ended up winning that series 3-1. And, I mean, you knew it had to be one of the two. Not just since we saw that that was our only opponents, but even back before. Like, you always, you, you can't escape a March to October without facing either the Yankees, the Astros, or the Dodgers in the postseason. So, I think we're going to get a glimpse at what game one is going to look like here at home. And we're going to be up 4-2 to two in the eighth inning. All right. That's a good way to start. But that'll be saved for the next episode. But that, of course, will be saved for the next episode. So for now, make sure if you enjoyed today's episode, you do me a favor, hit that like button for me, just like usual. And don't forget, if you're not subscribed to the channel, now would be a great time to hit that subscribe button as we bring our first season to a close here over the course of the next week or so. But that is it for me today, guys. So thanks for watching. Thanks for stopping by again. And I will see you next time.